Pigdoro! Alright. Hey, it's cool if you don't know, we're replaying Tumba and we're facing the green evil pig. Wah! My clothes! This happens every time I flex. Who are you? How'd you get in? You what? A scrawny thing like you wants to fight me? Well, I guess you didn't see my muscles rip through my clothes. You know, people like you never never know what they're getting into before it's too late. What do you think you can do, skinny boy? Go home, while well, you still can. What? You still there to fight? That's it. I've had enough. I gave you your chance. You're in for it now. Just remember, you asked for it. We sure did. So this is... Oh, boy. This is the green evil pig, Master of Fire. And we just barely missed the pig bag. That was fantastic. But this time... <laughs> effortless victory. Well, almost effortless. Point is, that one was a lot easier <laughs> than the uh, red one. So that is going to open up the lava caves. For some unexplainable reason, rain forms within the cave and douses all the fire in a very bad effect. This looks rather perilous. Hmm. So yeah, that's what the uh, that's what the fortune tellers do. They basically give you a hint of um, where to find the uh, pig doors. So at this point, uh, we're going to use Charity Wing to get to Phoenix Mountain. Lava Caves! We're going to save here, since we made a fair amount of progress, and also we didn't save in the last video, so there you go. Still level 5. I don't know what the levels do, honestly. I think they're really just a st statistic. Statistic, 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 statistic. Anyway. <laughs> uh, now I remember... Oh, right. I have to turn that off. Uh, jewel of Fire, turn you off. Um. Oh. That's what I have to turn off. Um. There we go. And, yeah, like I was saying, I remember this place being extremely perilous. Therefore, I am going to save state on occasion. I'm going to try to avoid save stating as I did previously, but instead I'm just going to jump into this pig door that I totally didn't see. Well, whatever here? A funny looking kid with ridiculous hair? The owner of the haunted mansion? Who knows? Who cares? We rule the mansion now. You're challenging me to a fight? I'll give you a fight that you won't likely forget! So I'm gonna turn off the funky parasol. And, uh... Where's the bag? Ah, uh, it's gonna be slightly... Ah! The hell was that? Oh, okay. I think I get it. Yeah, there we go. Are we gonna make it? No. Basically, we want to get the uh, the pig onto one of these topmost platforms here. And there we go. That's two pigs in one episode. So it looks like we've released the haunted mansion. Three pigs down, four to go. Maybe the Haunted Mansion isn't so haunted after all. 
Actually, I think it looked better the other way. Oh well. The important thing is that it is no longer under the evil pig's spell. Let's go save again. <laughs> Just because it is so much fun to do so. Also because I definitely don't want to lose that. And knowing me, I lose at stupid places, so... There you go. So, up we go. And this time for real, into Zedava Cavern. So I'm guessing we're going to need some bunk flowers. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, there's another flower. Yeah, who are you? You're wondering how I can stay here without burning up? Well, this particular spot is shielded from the heat of the lava. Anyway, it's not important. I have bigger things on my mind right now. You can't tell this to anybody. I lost a very important item that I was taking care of for my boss. I promise not to tell a single soul. I thought I lost it somewhere around here, so I came back to look for it. But it's so hot and dangerous, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Hmm. wonder if your boss is the dude that we uh, accidentally released. Also, this cave totally looks like a piranha plant. Anyway, let's keep going. Huh. Oh! We got ourselves charity wings. Also, if memory serves, those bat dudes you can actually grapple onto. What's a hundred year old chest here? Oh boy. Ah! Ah! This is not going well. Ah! Yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> okay, you get out of my way. That is locked. That one's not locked. No! <laughs> Fergus! That really sucks. Okay. Grapple onto you. Almost get ourselves killed. Ah! Okay. I wonder if this is the last one. Doesn't seem like it. Because it might not be telling us because of the fact that we haven't unlocked the event yet. However, we did complete that event. So apparently we have enough bunk flowers now. Uh, let's use a lunchbox, because I don't want to die. Okay. Ah, there's an exit here. Ah, we've reached the phoenix's nest. So apparently the phoenix is up here, and um, with proper nutrition, he should be able to take us someplace new. I'm not gonna grab that since it's only worth a hundred. Um, is there anyone else here? No, just the phoenix. Hey, buddy. Um, so yeah, you're not looking very well. Have some food. Have some food and then I'm going to assault you. Master of the skies! I'm going to be the master of the skies. And this time we should have a pretty clean flight since there's no storm going on. 
We. Where is the phoenix going to take us? To the jungle, apparently. We're gonna need to find the jungle pig bag. Oh boy. Um. Who? Yeah. <laughs> so let's equip something more powerful, such as a stone boomerang. Uh, apparently, I can't destroy you. That's pretty fantastic. Oh boy. That dude looks unfriendly. Huh. Oh, Fungadrum, huh? Hmm, that seems familiar. Yeah, just keep backing up. Just keep backing up. Oh. So these vines push us down. That's definitely a good thing to be aware of. Ah. Oh boy. Huh. You know what's over here? Oh boy. Over here is certain death. Oh man. I think if we didn't have the parasol, we would have been better off. Um. Let's use another large lunch. Large lunchbox? No, a regular lunchbox, please. Latch onto that. Latch onto that. Latch onto that. Ha! You did not catch me in your trap, good sir. Actually, I think you did. Um. Just because I'm curious. Yeah, that is death. Okay. So I think, uh... Does that one do the same thing? That one does do the same thing. That was also a demonstration. That was a show of what not to do. Oh. Leaf butterfly. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Wrong game, but I don't care. Okay, that is not worth it. <laughs> also lag. Uh, what do you have to say? Ah! Go away, please! Huh? Oh, you're not one of the Mazakari. <sighs> what a relief. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I came from the clock tower that's in the village village of civilization up ahead. My hat was blown away and landed somewhere around here. I just saw a weird looking monkey with it, but I'm scoot I'm too scared to chase him. But with a Mazakari and all. Say, if you see a strange monkey with striped pants on, do you think you can get my hat back from him? Charles Hey, Anne. Oh, that wasn't exactly a good hiding spot. Um, okay, that's an invisible wall. Oh, what's up here? Oh, up here is a blue chest. With a Vitality Max! We also got a large lunchbox. Okay... Alright. So from there... Charles! Oh boy. Um... No, you can't swim? Hmm, what are you gonna do? I guess I could teach you how to swim, but... Oh, no more bananas. I'm kinda tired of them. But I'm really thirsty. You have anything to drink? 
Well, so much for my idea. Oh, by the way, I found this hat near the entrance to the Village of Civilization. If you're going there, will you return it to its owner for me? I'm sure whoever lost it is looking for it. Oh, so you didn't steal it. Oh, there you go. So, let's head back to the Village of Civilization entrance, and I think we're gonna call that a video. Wah! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that! Did you find my hat? It's right here. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hey, if you like, why don't you stop by our clock tower? You probably won't be able to enter the factory and the iron castle, but you can enter the clock tower anytime you'd like. Sounds good. Now, I am fast running out of hard drives. Oh, freaking leaf butterfly. Anyways, I am fast running out of hard drive space, so I better save and end this video now. So next time, we will be looking through the village of civilization and see what there is to see around here. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.